So a great day today using the butterfly probe for my regional anaesthesia list, three upper limb cases, all awake shoulders, therefore three interscaling blocks done, uh, all with the probe on MSK and nerve setting, perfect image quality uh, and very easy to visualise the needle. Got to be honest, some of my blocks were absolute textbook image blocks, however, all patients were absolutely fine awake and uh, really enjoyed seeing this probe and what it can do and they couldn't believe uh, what it can do for the price actually when I explain because they're all asking clearly how much is that thing I bet it costs a fortune no in fact not at all sub two thousand pounds there you go here's the images so um we're going to show you the uh, first of the blocks today. Now I've got to admit, uh, probe position wasn't optimal and this is me sort of first attempt with the probe fiddling around with the settings, but you can see there's a reasonable attempt to visualise the needle. This is a 100mm long Hyunk needle you can see coming in on the top right of the screen. Uh, and obviously I'm going towards C5, there's a pre-fascial injection there. Kind of deliberate, but not deliberate I guess, but you can see C5 delineated, there's the needle tip. We're going to sort of uh, start to put the first batch of local in. There it goes, covering C5, dropping down. And then what I'm going to do is move the needle in between C5 and C6, which you can see here. And then we get some drift of local beneath that, separating C5 and 6 out, and anterior drift of the local as well. Pretty good block. So this next clip I've just popped in so you can see the supraclavicular brachial plexus there, the first rib, the subclavian artery there clearly in view and I'm moving up the neck now from the plexus at that level to display the interscaling groove and C5, C6 at the top of the screen in the middle there. And you can see that the pre-fascial area and skin etc at the very top, the resolution is extremely clear from this probe. There's the needle popping through and I'm just trying to locate it now by tilting the probe around. There you can see C5 and C6 just at the top. There's the needle now in view and we're going to put a little bit of hydrodissection in to delineate the fascia. There you go. And then we're going to pop the needle down just below C5 here, a bit more into the fascia. And there it bobs and we're lifting C5 up. And then just a bit of movement of the needle around the place just to dissect 5 from 6. So folks, here we go. This is our lovely patient who's very kindly consented to this and to the block. We've used the butterfly probe to put the interscaling block in, which I'll pop the image on also with consent. And I'm going to call you patient number one. Can you lift your arm for me? You're definitely trying to lift mm, your arm there? No. There we go. So we have a nice functional interscaling block sighted with a butterfly probe. We're going to pop into theatre.